Hi guys, I'm Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today is episode two and I'm doing my closet purge. So I just want to talk about some of the writers and bloggers and YouTubers that have inspired me to do this and whose guidance I am using. So first, of course, I need to mention Marie Kondo, who wrote The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And a few of the tenets of her book are that you should go category by category, not room by room. So today is the clothing category. And as far as that goes, I am actually using the 30 day minimal challenge by Pickup Limes, who is a minimalist blogger and YouTuber. I will leave her PDF link down below. Um, check it out if you're interested. And actually clothing is day two, but Clothing is by far one of my largest categories, and I've been working on it for a while. So currently I'm in a four-day weekend, so I have a lot of time to dedicate to the clothing section. So I'm going to go ahead and start with clothes. So Marie Kondo really champions taking everything out all at once. So here I have all of my clothes, including workout and coats, winter, summer, everything. She also says if it sparks joy, then you should keep it. However, I am going to go ahead and change that and say if it gives my life meaning. So a lot of the things are utilitarian, such as gym shorts. They don't spark joy for me, but I will keep my favorite pair. I'm not so joyful to wear them, but I do need them. And the final bit of the process that Marie Kondo suggests is to thank each piece of clothing for its service if you are planning to get rid of it. I feel like that is an element of Japanese culture that I have noticed. The personification of certain items or things, that is not my style. I'm not Japanese, although I do live here. Um, so I will not be thanking my items for their service. I am hoping that they will have further service for someone else because we are planning to donate the clothes to our local recycle shop or if they won't take it then to a um, charity that deals with immigrants to Japan. Either way it should be a really good day and I know that it's going to take a while so I'm just going to mention one more thing and that's from the book Goodbye Things by Fumio Sasaki. He mentions that if you look at an item and it's not a hell yes then it's a no. And to that end, I really like that. If it's a hell yes, I will immediately put it back on my shelves. But if it is a no, then I will donate it. But there are a few pieces that, for whatever reason, I haven't worn them recently. Maybe they were more winter wear, or maybe they were really summer and were not that warm yet. But I am planning to keep one maybe box and see if I do wear those clothes. Um, and if I don't, then they will go as well. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this very long video. Okay guys, so step one is get everything together. So I'm going to dump out all of the boxes and then here I also have a clothes rack and then behind here I have a hanging rack. So all of these clothes are going to come right here, right now. everything. Let's go!
Um, these three huge boxes, this one, this one, that one, are all giveaway. And then I have these two here, which are um, maybes. I'm thinking about them. Um, we just got into summer, spring, so I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. Um, if I don't pull them out of this box this season, then they will also be donated. Um, the very last section to get into are the clothes right here, and they are my favorites, and I always keep them hanging. So, yeah, let's get to this last little section. It has been a while. <laughs> this up. That was my whole sorting of everything that I own. I'm going to do a follow-up video which is the clothes left in my closet and my maybe pile, but it is just way too much today. There are so many clothes here that um, I have a bit of decision fatigue or um, sorting fatigue and I'm gonna have to go grab lunch with my husband. He's been sorting other stuff in another room, so today's a really productive day for us, um, but <laughs> tired. So we're probably gonna go have lunch and give the dogs a walk. Thank you so much for watching and if you are interested in more uh, minimalism stuff in Japan then please hit the like button or subscribe. It would really mean a lot and if you are into books I also talk about those. So I hope to see you around and I'll just say toodles for now. Bye! <laughs>